The Iran deal was regarded as Barack Obama's signature international achievement. Iran met its preliminary pledges. The US, the EU and the United Nations responded by repealing or suspending sanctions. But the deal didn't survive a change of administration in the US. The fact is, this was a horrible, one-sided deal that should have never, ever been made. It didn't bring calm, it didn't bring peace, and it never will. Among the consequences was an upsurge in social unrest in Iran as crippling sanctions were reintroduced. But throughout all of this, Iran resumed a robust nuclear program, starting to enrich 60 percent uranium and moving closer to achieving weaponized nuclear capacity. We are now in a situation in which, during the JCPOA, Iran would need at least a year to be able to amass the material for a single nuclear weapon. Right now, it has enough material for five, and it only needs about 10 days to enrich that material to weapons grade uh, levels. During his presidential campaign, Joe Biden pledged to reinstate the Iran deal, along with several other international treaties that the Trump administration had walked away from. Immediately after assuming office, President Biden used executive orders to return the U.S. to the Paris Agreement and the World Health Organization. He could have rejoined the Iran deal in exactly the same way, but chose not to. He sent his Secretary of State to repair relations with allies ruptured during the Trump era, but restoring U.S. participation in the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action did not appear to be on the agenda although the aim of preventing Iran from developing its nuclear capacity was. The single Trump administration deal backed by Biden are the Abraham Accords, a series of treaties normalizing diplomatic relations between Israel and its Arab neighbors, including the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain. It is intent on bringing Saudi Arabia to the table as well, relying on one critical factor. Like all the signatories to the Abraham Accords, Saudi Arabia has a strong antipathy towards Iran. While there have been recent signs of rapprochement between the two countries, this dislike is very much the glue that holds this NATO in the Gulf together, as is the opposition to the JCPOA. It's a fact that the Biden administration is well aware of as it seeks to finish building a U.S. supporting alliance in the Gulf. Any U.S. return to the Iran deal would imperil this process, so effectively a choice has been made. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Washington.